In the wake of Fentress's death from COVID-19, other workers at BAE say conditions there are unsafe. In fact, some have decided to stop working this afternoon. They're telling our Chris Horn that not enough is being done to protect them against the spread of the disease. A non-union leader for some of the contract workers at BAE says at least 40 workers have stopped working as of the 3 p.m. shift this afternoon because of what they see as unsafe conditions. BAE says the safety and well-being of employees is top priority, and it has followed CDC guidance with social distancing and face coverings. But employees say on smaller naval ships like destroyers, distancing is impossible. Contract worker Andrew Ravel has an example. I counted 25 people in a space that's a little over a thousand square feet. So just to give you an idea, um, people will spend hours at a time working within maybe two to three feet of another employee. Other workers who want to remain anonymous tell me they are afraid of contracting the virus when they are breathing the same air and touching the same surfaces as other employees for their entire shift. A contract worker died last week from coronavirus. Since then, six people have been tested Two were positive, three negative, and the other is still awaiting results. In a statement, BAE said, we understand our employees have very real health concerns, and we are talking to managers and union leadership regularly to better understand those concerns and how we can address them. Ravel says he is reaching out on social media to get help from elected officials. I just got off the phone with someone from uh, Bobby Scott's office. So we're you know, trying to reach local lawmakers as well as you know, our representatives in Congress. Coming up at 6, the specific demands that the workers want to put in place before they will feel safe in the job. Plus, the change that BAE says it will implement tomorrow morning that it says will be an extra layer of protection against COVID-19. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.